Good morning, meteorologist Bob Acamprio with today's tropical update for Sunday, July 28, 2013. Well, we're still watching um, X Dorian today. Um, just to kind of give you some, I didn't get to put out a video yesterday, so I didn't really had some thoughts I wanted to give everybody, but I didn't have time for that. But a couple things with Dorian. Um, when it first came off the African coast, well, was about to. I really didn't think this was going to have a shot because of how low um, the relative humidity values were out there in the eastern and central Atlantic. A lot of dry air in place. Once it came off the coast, it really started up. You know, the waters are abnormally warm for this time of year right off the um, African coast there. So this thing really started to crank up a nice little small circulation center. And a lot of times those tight small circulations they do pretty well in dry air they don't you know, this thing wasn't going to take off in the dry air but i thought it would at least once it did come off the coast and i saw what we had i really thought it was at least going to maintain itself until it got to where we are today um, a lot of the it was weird to see the forecast saying that sheer and dry air killed this thing no dry air killed this thing there really wasn't a lot of sheer out there it was really the dry air that really ended up um, with Dorian's demise. Now, today was the day that I thought, back when, that Dorian was going to start strengthening again. So this brings us now to Sunday, and you can see what we have left of Dorian. It's on that right side of this um, tut feature here. And a lot of times when you get these tut features here, they start to lift out and weaken and then we really get a lot of good ventilation here on its right side. So you can see thunderstorms starting to blow up around the remnants. Now I'm not saying we have anything right now, and we're really not gonna know if we have anything right now until we get recon in there this afternoon, which I really, really hope happens. <laughs> they better not cancel this flight on me. Let's just at least get in there, since it's gonna be approaching, you know, getting close to land here in the next few days. Let's see what we have today. Again, not saying we have anything right now. Um, it could just be a cloud. <laughs> but definitely something to watch here. And it was another thing that was amazing, just to go on one more rant, was how everybody was looking at this shear here near the island saying, oh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to kill it off if it gets to this area. But this tuck feature was forecast really to lift out and weaken a bit. And, you know, these are the perfect setups for something to really get underneath this tut feature and, and start to develop. So again, something to watch for. Um, oh, and by the way, the GFS had this plowing into Hispaniola and um, that's just not gonna happen. So hooray for the new computer. Okay, so anyway, here we go. Now looking at the shear today, here's that tut feature and you can see it weakening a bit. You know, we had 50 knots out here, what, a couple days ago. But now it's on that right side here, a little anticyclonic um, flow above it. And this, again, this tut feature is forecast to weaken a bit and lift a little farther north. And if something could happen with Dorian, again, not saying it's going to develop, but watch it. But if something could start getting going here, we could start getting a, some low level circulation again. This could sneak under this tut feature and be in a pretty favorable area for, uh, for development here if, if it does, okay? And again, looking at the steering components, this is what we're going to be looking for. Again, we said this days ago that there's going to be some kind of hook here with this trough here along the eastern United States. Again, not a real strong trough. This is actually going to lift a slight bit too in the next few days. So it's not strong enough to really swing it out to sea, but enough to give it that bend. And where that bend is going to occur if Dorian develops, again, will depend on how strong Dorian gets and so forth. So you know, look for Dorian to be in the Bahamas here in the next few days because it is slowing down. You know, as they encounter these troughs, as we go from ridge to trough, these things will start slowing down as they start turning. So in the next few days, get into the vicinity of the Bahamas and then make that turn somewhere in here, okay? And again, looking, this is the GFS from 6Z this morning, and this is just showing you that tut feature in the upper level wind. So here we are today. And you can see we still have a little bit of strong winds here out of the southwest. Dorian, or what's left of Dorian's right here. And if we go out in about 21 hours here, 
you can see if Dorian could come underneath here a little bit, this tut feature starts to lift out, and then in 48 hours, assuming Dorian's right about here, this tut feature has weakened a lot, and we're in a pretty area of light winds here. So that's what we have to watch for if Dorian can get a low level circulation going. We're going to watch this scenario right in here. And again, Bahamas, South Florida, you know, even most of Florida needs to just watch this thing carefully in the next few days. Again, not a big concern right now. Just keep one eye on it. Let's watch it and see what happens. The Euro, this was last night's run, 0Z, and you can see this is where, if we put this in motion here, what's left of Dorian, you see it coming through the Bahamas here, and, it's, and by Tuesday evening, we're right here, and then by Wednesday, and you see how slow it's moving now, and then by Wednesday evening, what's left is approaching South Florida, okay? And in latest model runs, these are fresh off the, um, the computers here. They have now named this, so don't get confused. This is now Invest 91. I hate when they do this too. Let's just call it Invest Dorian or whatever. But anyway, so don't get confused. It's now Invest 91. They've run new models on it. These are the beginnings of some of the model runs. And you can see just what we've been talking about. And again, look at these BAM models because these are the best ones here. You could see, you know, if this thing gets a little stronger in here, we might see something like this. A little weaker, we might see something like this. So anyway, this is what we have to watch for and where it's going to be going if it develops, okay? So let's just keep one eye on Dorian over the weekend the next few days, see what happens. The possibilities there. We won't really know again until um, the Hurricane Hunters get in there this afternoon, and I'm really hoping they get out there. I mean, they've, they've flown in worse than this, so let's get out there and see what we have, and um, we'll go from there, all right? So again, follow me on uh, YouTube, Robert Acanfrio, WeatherGuy03. Just look me up on Facebook. I'd appreciate it, and you all have a good weekend. Have a good Sunday. We'll catch you later. Bye.